welcome to my channel and um, today we will be doing the reading for Pisces for January 2015 and I apologize for posting these videos so late into the month but I wanted to get them perfect almost perfect before I post them um, so hopefully these will be a lot more timely next month and I feel that it's the beginning of the year this is my third reading for this year so this is exciting. All right, so let's see what we have for Pisces for this month. So the first I have is the Four of Cups. Then I have the Magician in reverse. Then I have the Six of Swords in reverse. The Hermit in reverse. Ooh, the Ten of Swords. Five of Wands, Nine of Swords, and the Knight of Cups. I'm going to fill, pull out two more. Okay, I have Three of Pentacles and the ten, Nine of Cups. Now, okay, so there are a lot of Swords energy here. So I feel that, again, I have this same reading for... Um, Aquarius. So you have the Four of Cups. You have this gift that is offered to you from the universe. And yet, like I said, you're, you're looking at the other three that you want rather than what is given to you when what is given to you is exactly what you want. They're identical. So that might be something that you need to overcome just you know accept the situation for what it is and find joy and positivity in it rather than looking at you know greener pastures elsewhere because it's all a mirage at this point so work with what you're given because it is a great gift and a lot of people would kill for it so just work with that energy just stay positive and look at the good in the situation um, the next one is the magician the magician is in reverse so you do have all the energy or I'm sorry all the elements at your disposal to manifest these things in your life but I feel like with this the magician in reverse coupled with the four of uh, cups you might not see what you have and you might not sense that you have enough to start things, to start projects, to start new relationships, to, to, to find that, you know, balance within yourself, to, to do things and to get what you want out of life. So it's important to let this negativity go and sail forward. And in this too, it is the Six of Swords it's about moving on, moving on to a new location or moving on and, and leaving the past behind. It is in reverse, so meaning there is basically resistance towards change. And it's just resistance towards, you know, this mentality that you haven't got enough or whatever is offered to you is not good enough. So let go of that, that sense that... Um, let the universe come in and just you know take care of you and with the hermit in reverse the hermit is a Virgo card so maybe there has been disputes in the past with this Virgo or um, there's a Virgo energy here and um, the hermit is taking time off for contemplation and you know finding that spiritual um, enlightenment I would say that the spiritual path, finding that spiritual calmness within yourself, you're not taking the time out to do that with this in reverse. You're not getting enough, um, you're not doing enough self introspection to see the situation for what it is. You need to move on. You can't pine over what is given to you. You can't pine over your lot. And at the same time, you have everything there, but you're not seeing the situation in its totality. So the hermit urges you to take some time, reflect. Reflect on things that you do have. And I just feel that this energy for this month might be a little rough for a lot of Pisces. 
Um, I do have the Ten of Swords in the upright position. There's no looking back at this point. He is, you know, downtrodden. He's, he's expired at this point. You can't go back from this. So with Swords, it usually deals with an argument. And if you're dealing with a Virgo, then, you know, in the past, they're very opinionated. So they might cut with their uh, words, but Virgos generally have very good heart. So their words might be cutting, but they might regret it. But I feel like there's no going back from this. You've been really hurt. You've been stabbed in the back. Um, there are a lot of swords in this reading. So I apologize, Pisces. It seems like a very rough month. And then on top of that, there's this strife. And I feel like this might be more work-related. There's this five of swords. And uh, I'm sorry, five of wands. And there is just confrontation, there's competition. In general, it doesn't denote like um, a malicious act, but next to the Ten of Swords, I feel that it's bringing out the worst in everybody. And um, people are just, you know, stepping on each other's toes, trying to get their point across with all these swords, and just being extremely, extremely hurtful. And the Nine of Swords is the next one. You're losing sleep over this and you're you're dealing with all this anguish and on top of that you can't let it go it, it's already done it's already done there is no backtracking there's nothing you can salvage from this and yet you are still bickering over it and you are not letting it go I feel also that um, with the Knight of Cups, there might be a, a water sign in your mist. Uh, Pisces, another Pisces, another Scorpio, or I'm sorry, Pisces, Scorpio, or um, what is the other one? Cancer, excuse me. Um, the way it manifests is that this could be you in that you're not being upfront about something. It, it, the Knight of Cups is upside down. Or somebody that you're dealing with, a water sign, is not being upfront with you. And in this situation, this might be the water sign that is causing all this hurt and all this bickering. Or it's turning you, you know, it, it's causing you to, to exhibit all the characteristics of um, the negative traits of a water sign. So this is interesting here. Um, I feel that if it is work-related, you're going to find something else. You're going to find um, a new craft. You're going to practice something else. You're going to change your direction altogether and build another f a solid foundation for yourself. If this is a relationship matter, I feel that you're just going to move on past this hopefully by the end of the month, and just, you know, channel your energy elsewhere where it's a little more productive, where you're more appreciative, people are more appreciative of you. And the outcome we have is a really good card. It is the Nine of Cups. So it could even be that with all this swords energy that words were said and they were extremely hurtful. However, in this context, I feel that you, you can't recover from this. But you still have enough. Maybe this might be work where you have like friends and family who still love you and who will still be around. This is a yes card as well. So if you've been, you know, looking for another situation, I feel that you need to be aware of what is given to you and then find abundance in that, you know. Or in this situation, if there has been arguments with lovers and friends and co-workers, changing the environment, building a new craft, or learning a new craft would bring that emotional fulfillment for you. So towards the end of the month, you do have this very good outcome, which is the Nine of Cups. So it will bring about, you know, the emotional fulfillment that you've been craving for and that you, you've been searching for through the month. So keep an eye out for that. I'm hoping that February will be better for you guys. Um, if this reading resonates with you,
please contact me by email for a private reading. And also like, subscribe, and share. And we will touch bases again next month.